You are now watching Fresh Rex TV. Yo, yo. Welcome everyone back to the channel. Thank you so much to everyone watching. As you can tell by the title of the video and what's right here in front of me, obviously. This is my beloved 1991 Honda CRX SI. Real red colorway, R63. Before we get into everything about why I've been, you know, quite frankly, hiding this from the channel, keeping this a secret, if you will, and overall, everything I want to explain about this car and just everything I've done to it throughout the years. But like I mentioned, um, I want to take a quick pause and thank everyone to all the subscribers, all the new subscribers. Recently just hit 500, over 500 at this point. Super thankful, blessed, and happy, excited for that. Thank you so much to everyone out there. Seriously means a lot. And I know episode four is on the way. Stay tuned for that on the Show Me Your Ride. Those have been doing tremendously well. Super blessed for that and excited. I love the ways those are turning out and a lot of people on board. Just stay tuned. Just dealing with people's time and, you know, if it's they're available at this certain time and all the weather conditions out here in Texas, which is crazy. But definitely stay tuned for that. That's That's coming soon. But before we get into this also, I want to mention... And I want to shout out lots and lots of people out there in the world. Lots of people that know me because of this build and also people that I watch here on YouTube, actually. I want to shout out their channels and just overall people that I watch a lot of times and, you know, get a lot of inspiration and people that have influ influenced me throughout the years. Definitely want to pay respects to them. Um, shout out to CRX Seth. Super love his videos. KG Garage. All the gunners out there. Uh, Young Static. Speed Academy, Mad Speed and their crew, Bada's Garage, um, many, many people, Four Bangers Production, Garage Built Hondas, Deadbeat Garage, shout out to CTRJ, many, many people out here on the platform and, you know, truly have always wanted myself to do this type of video because of all of them, um, showing off my, my precious build, the one I've been chasing, you know, the dream build, if you will which is this car right here, 1991 Honda CRX SI. But I'll definitely get into everything. You know, without further ado, let me explain everything, what I got going on with this thing. I mean, I know it's on jack stands. The reason why it's on jack stands, um, <laughs> I've been preserving it, put it up for a while, put it up for about two years or so now. Um, it's been on jack stands for about two years now. Um, obviously doing an engine swap. As you can see as well, there's no engine in there. Had the car since 2012, many, many years. It's gone through many, many different changes, revisions. Definitely didn't buy it like this when I got it back in 2012. I've definitely changed it to a more OEM, you know, spec, OEM plus, keeping it kind of cool and, you know, race car-ish, I guess you could say, and just real nice and OEM, not much stuff going on. Um, bumper, I could show you that obviously it's off. I do have it right here. It's just a 9091 CRX SI front bumper with a J style lip. Dev Sport front splitter. Not sure if I'm going to run that, to be honest. Checkered Sports right there for the front plate. But yeah, I'll get into everything right now. Uh, like I said, obviously, engine swap is going to go on. You guys are going to see the whole build throughout the whole process of how this is going to turn out until it starts. All of that until the VTEC. Can't wait to show all you guys do some pulls and all that. Engine bay, super stock, obviously demolished. I do have a K-Tune traction bar right here, ready for whatever engine I'm ready for. Um, trying to clean up all this. Hopefully I do a wire tuck maybe, and hopefully paint the engine bay. Make it a lot more prettier for the engine to come. Um, lots of stuff still stock, stock cowl, windshield. I do plan to change it I do not like how this is all crud up right here and probably change that molding the car has been preserved and it's been in well good condition I've always kept good care of it always paid a lot of respect and you know appreciate this build a lot and this car overall over the years I've had it uh, I believe only the fenders are painted different um, not OEM right not I mean they are OEM I believe I'm sorry but they have been painted the rest of the car is just original. A original. little bit of fading here and there, but that could be buffed out hopefully later on. 
OEM side marker Stanley right there. Wheels and tires set up. Inky RPF ones, 15 by eight, I believe plus 25. Correct me if I'm wrong. 20550 Falcon Azians. Um, if you can see up there, Skunk Two upper control arms with the camber kit and all that. I am on BC coilovers. We'll get into that here in a few. Stay tuned for what's to come right there underneath the tarp. <laughs> uh, I'll leave that for a future video to what actually engine I'm gonna put in this. You know, comment down below if you guys guess it or anything. I'll let you know. Real quick before all this, this is my garage too. Also, just kind of a little bit of things every everywhere, but been trying to clean it up here and there. If you see these banners, shout out to Acuity Instruments, Dragon Ball Z, all the people out there that watch Dragon Ball Z, Hybrid Racing, Art of Attack, Honda, of course, my favorite, K-Tuned over there. We'll get back into this. Um, OEM side mirrors, probably change those later on, maybe it's something a little more aggressive, possibly. Window visors, I know you guys probably see that. A lot of people are probably going to ask where I got those. But I got it from a guy in Florida. He had a Y49 CRX years back. Probably going to be pretty hard to find them. So pretty cool that I have those. OEM sunroof, moonroof riser. Uh, it is stamped Honda. Awesome that I got that. Um, OEM sunroof. Still a little bit of fading and kind of like grime and slight rust. But who knows, maybe carbon fiber one day. Rest of the car is super, super sick. Always love this chassis, always love this style of car. I mean, this thing is phenomenal and one of the best 90s cars in my opinion. Top five best 90s Honda, to be honest. <laughs> it's up there with the NSX. I mean, the name speaks for itself. CRX, every time I hear it, it brings me joy and I always get happy when I hear it. Looks like there was a OG kind of pinstripe at one point. Starting to fade out. I'll try to buff that out. Like I said, this mirror right here or this window, always love that shape. Super, super cool. We'll get into what I got going on underneath. I'll put some light for you guys. Show you what I've all done down here. Like I mentioned, BC coilovers. I have Skunk 2 rear camera kit. Function 7 lower control arms. ASR rear subframe brace with the sway bar. Super aggressive ride. Beaks lower tie bar, always love that. That's kind of OG. Always love seeing that bling when people had it back in the day. Skunk 2 uh, axle back. Actually, no, cat back all the way. Three inch pipe, I believe. Pause. Skunk 2 muffler. Password JDM tow hook. Kind of OG when people used to run those. <laughs> Everything else, OEM, fresh, of course. SI badge, my favorite right there, CRX, Garnish. Um, hopefully the VTEC one one day, the EDM I believe it's called, and with that EDM wing, I would love to have that one day. Super, super love this car. I mean, this is the car I've always loved in Honda, and especially two-door, my first ever two-door Honda. My first ever, honestly, stick shift car, and I learned everything in this car. And lots of memories and lots of things that I'm grateful for for this car. Let's show you guys the interior. I got a little light for you guys. Uh, door cards, everything original, of course, OEM. A little bit dissected and there's a lot of stuff going on here. We're just getting ready for the swap. Glove box, we took that out. OEM dash, no cracks. Real, real good condition. A little bit of a mess in here, don't worry. <laughs> OEM seats, real, real good condition. I don't know, I always wanted to keep these. I don't know if I'll ever let these go. These are just super, super sweet to me. Show you guys the back, what all I got going on. Put some light for you guys. <laughs> um, so I gutted it all out. I still do all, I have all the original stuff. I did not get rid of all that, all the plastics I have up in the attic. Always love, love this look, kind of like a Cali style to me. Um, always seen people gut it out out there in Cali and paint it. Had the homie Christian Castro, shout out to you, man, to paint this and it came out phenomenal. Hopefully more work here in the future. EM Racing, shut, shut bar right there. Super, super clean. I believe I'm the third owner on this car. Super grateful for that. 
second or third owner, honestly. Let me show you guys around, sorry. Bring you guys over here on the driver's side. Momo steering wheel right here, I believe a 350. Chasing J's right there, titanium. Um, everything pretty much stock. I do have all that, don't worry about that. Mugen pedals, put those on years ago. See if you guys could see that. Everything's super clean, still spit ta uh, OEM tack. Broadway, of course. If you don't have that, I mean, it's always a Honda thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, super, super clean in here. Like I said, super grateful for this car and something I've been hiding, but definitely it's time to show you guys, show the world. Lots of many, many people that know me for this car and I truly honor and respect all the people I've met throughout the years. People on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that, they all follow me because of this build. I've definitely grown a lot of fan base, I guess you could say, because of this car. I truly, absolutely love this car. And not something to hide. So shout out to everyone, man. There's a lot of people out there that I truly honor and respect, like I said, and that have been in the game for a while. Cool people to know. Definitely OG people that have been around me and, uh, you know, come up with me with this car and gave me a lot of advice. And like I said, people I respect. Um, shout out to, you know, shout out to Frank Baltazar, man, Jonathan Baltazar. Cody Villarreal, Connor, I know you guys are all watching. Big Zach, Mark Savala, shout out to you, bro. Marcos Gamino, man, a lot of people, a lot of people out there. Michael Smalls, man, a lot of people. Um, truly a lot of people that I truly have taught me a lot and know about this build, you know, and like I said, I'm super excited to show all of you guys just truly what all is yet to come for this thing. It's absolute a uh, masterpiece to me and I'm grateful that it's such good condition you know these are usually on their way out and not as pristine as this one is here I very appreciate this car like I said I try to preserve it and keep it that you know old 90s look but still aggressive and can't wait to show everything lots of parts I don't know maybe you've seen a couple here in the garage but lots of parts I can't wait to show you guys and overall seeing this thing transform and evolve it's going to be fun and happy, and I'm excited to show everyone. Can't wait to show you guys, like I said, when the engine goes in and until we get it tuned, until the VTEC, all that. Super, super excited for that. But thank you so much. Like I mentioned, all the new subscribers, all the subscribers I have now, is, you know, it's been a blessing. Something, you know, is new to me, but I'm still super excited. I can't wait to show you guys so much more. You know, I'm dealing with everything I can, and trying to pump these out as fast as I can but definitely wanted to not keep this any secret anymore like I mentioned and show you guys the world my 1991 like I said Honda CRX SI absolutely love this car this car is a lot of memories even why I started the channel you know because of all the people I watch like I said on YouTube people that have influenced me inspired me you know it's time now to show mine my personal build not many on YouTube on this particular chassis. And, you know, it's exciting. It's humbling. It's fun. I want to show everyone, you know, my build, what I do to it, how I make it look cool in my way. <laughs> but definitely more to come. Thank you so much. Like I said, I can't thank you guys enough. This is truly going to be fun. Comment down below any questions you got about this build. You know, any, where did I get that? Where did I get anything? You know, anything I missed out. There's lots and lots of stuff I would love to talk about, but there's so much to say. <laughs> I could go on for days about talking about this car, and quite frankly, all the 90s Hondas, I respect all of them and love all of them. This happens to just be one of my favorites. Super excited and blessed. Thank you so much. Can't wait um, to show you guys more, honestly. Stay tuned for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace, like, comment, and subscribe.